Hey Brahmas, in this video we will showcase a database called Geo Literary Sources. Starting the library's homepage, let's click on the tab that reads Databases A through Z. Here you can open up all of our databases and you can use them all off campus as long as you log in through your student ID number and your month and date of birth. So let's go find the one that we're looking for. Gale Literary Sources, we can click on the letter G. And since Gale is a company that produces a lot of databases, where is my favorite one? Oh, right here, Popular. So it has that Popular tag that you can easily identify it with. And I think I'm going to have to log in. Oh, no, it remembered my login. Great. So Gale Literary Sources is our best database to find literary criticism or literary analysis of pieces of literature. So let's begin by identifying our text. In my example, I'm pretending that I'm reading The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. So it makes sense to start with that. So this database, notice how it suggests a lot of queries. And mine is probably this one, because it says Kafka and short story. Sometimes these suggestions are good and sometimes they are not. So I recommend to both try them and then try your own keywords without clicking on the suggestion. So let's start with the suggestion first and I'm going to click search again. So with the suggested query, I pulled up 14 articles. That is not that many. So hopefully we will find something good, right? Even though this database is very large in terms of the content that it stores, sometimes a number like 14 makes me question my, my, my query, my keyword search. But we'll come back to this. Let's take a look at what we have. So the first article, European writers. So this is probably more of a biography. I don't really want a biography of the author. Existential failure. Okay, this one sounds like an article, right? And notice how here it says peer reviewed. So that implies that it's a academic journal. And oh, obviously over here it said biography, right? So that's kind of interesting, right? I don't know if I'm interested in existential failure as a theme, um, but I might click on this one, right? Let me, let me open it up just to show you the mechanics. So let's say that I am interested in, in this topic, right? So I want to start reading this article. This article, as we can see it here, was published in 2018. That's very recent. And let's see how long it is. So I can see the abstract, some keywords. That's good, right? So it's about existentialism, absurdity, angst. Great. Um, they're kind of defining those concepts. Perfect. Um, ethical decline, interesting. So as I'm skimming through the article, I'm trying to identify the keywords or concepts that this source is talking about. And it, it ended already, so it's it's kind of short. At the bottom, we can see the MLA citation. And you can also get the citation up here where it says cite in the quotation marks icon. By default, they're going to show you MLA 8th, but you can also choose... APA, you can copy and paste it, but remember that these are not 100% correct, so you always want to double check them. And if you wanted to email yourself this article to read it later, you can click on the paper plane icon right here that says send to, and you can log into your Google Drive if you wish, but I prefer to email my sources to my inbox. And these emails will contain the full text of the article, either as text in the body of the email or a PDF attachment and the MLA citation of this article. 
and a link to come back to this database if you wanted to open up the article online again. So this looks like a rather interesting article, right? So it's up to you to decide which article you are going to pick. And that article is going to contain the thesis that you're going to engage with for this assignment. And sometimes on the right hand side, you might see related subjects. In this case, I'm not really seeing anything interesting, but it's always worth looking at these in case you discover new keywords or ideas about your, your, your thesis. So let's go back to our results. That one looked like a, like a pretty good source. Um, but I want to keep looking a few, a bit more. This third result the metamorphosis seems that's a, that's going to be a very short article and it's probably going to be an academic version of spark notes. If you've ever read spark notes. So let's see, actually, no, it's very short, right? So I don't, I don't think this is going to be very useful because it's more of a reference piece, like an encyclopedia article. It's not really a, a peer reviewed article from a scholarly journal that's going to have a strong thesis. So I'm skipping that one. Uh, let's see, not really interesting. As death and resurrection fantasy. Okay, so this seems to be a a, a, um, a scholarly article. It says essay, critical essay. It's 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 academic, and it might not be traditionally peer reviewed, but it's still academic. So let's open it up because I do want to show you a phenomenon that's um, common in this database. So sometimes the articles that you choose to open are going to look like this, as if you're looking at a digitized page from a printed book. And that's because this particular essay is, in fact, coming from a print publication. And down here where, it's, where you can see the blue color, that's where that essay begins by Peter, Peter Dow Webster. So the actual article doesn't really begin here. And we can we can see how long this article is because of the blue highlights. Sometimes these articles tend to be short. Sometimes they're pretty substantial. So you do kind of want to skim through it especially to see how strong the thesis or, or what the argument is about, right? Notice how this article is coming from short story criticism. So when we cite this, the citation is going to be a little complicated because it's by Peter Webster and the title of his article is in quotation marks. And then it was published in short story criticism but then this is being reprinted in a way in the database scale literature criticism. So don't be confused or alarmed if this citation seems like it's wrong or, or like it's too complicated. Um, this just means that it's a particular type of academic article that's been reprinted in a reference publication and now it's been republished in a database. So let's go back to the very first page of this article. In the following essay, Webster offers a psychoanalytic interpretation of the metamorphosis as a tale of death and redemption. So the good thing about this setup, right, is that it's framing what the article is going to be about. We don't know exactly what the thesis of this author is, but we know that it's from a psychoanalytic framework and that it has to deal with death and redemption and I assume resurrection, right, based on the title. So at this point, if I'm interested in this article based from what I've gathered, it's up to me to read it to see if I'm going to choose it as the 
academic paper that I'm going to tackle with this assignment. So same thing, if you really wanted to read it later, you can email it to yourself. I, I recommend that. Or if you're already using your own computer, you can easily download it uh, and just make sure you keep track of the citation so that you can cite it later in your Word Cited page. So let's go back to our results. And one thing, one tool in this database that you should know about is over here on the right hand side where it says filter your results. The button, the function that we encourage students to use is this search within box. So out of all of these articles, even though they're only 14, let's say that now I'm interested in all the papers that have to deal with psychoanalysis. Psychoanalysis. So if I were to do this, the database will search for this particular keyword in all of my retrieved results. Psychoanalysis, let's see. Since we only have 14, okay, only four came up, right? So what this implies is that these four articles just have the word psychoanalysis, but it doesn't guarantee me that these essays are thoroughly about psychoanalytic um, theories. 